Some people do the whole hand, you know, they go like this, do the whole hand. I don't like to get the whole palm dirty. It's just the, the three fingers, right? Yeah. Mm. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from my office in Miami, Florida, my hometown. Today, I'm doing something extremely unique. I'm eating Indian food for 24 hours straight here in Miami. You know, I've never done this before. I've done it in India every single time. You know, 14 days straight, every single bite is Indian cuisine. But this time in America, this is gonna be epic. I cannot wait. I'm starting off right here in my neighborhood. I'm going to Charcoal Indian Cuisine to have some delicious Southern Indian breakfast. Dosa is my favorite right here. You know, here in Miami, Indian restaurants don't actually open up until like 11, 11.30, so it's like a mini brunch. Then after that, we're gonna come back here, I'm gonna do some work, and then I'm going all the way to Bombay Dabar in Coconut Grove, the best Indian food in the Grove, and I'm gonna have a delicious lunch tally. So flavorful, so delicious. Then after that, come back, digest a little bit, do some work, then go to Bollywood Masala. My friend, Chef Tina, is gonna make some amazing Mumbai food for me, and then I'm gonna eat it with my father. So I'm doing takeout. I'm gonna go to my dad's house. We're gonna eat some delicious Mumbai food, Indian food all day. This is heaven today. I mean, dosas, tali, then maybe some, I don't know, some butter chicken, some paneer, so I don't even know what we're gonna have. We're gonna have so much food. It's gonna be amazing. Are you guys ready? Indian food for 24 hours. Let's do this. So Charcoal Indian Cuisine is located only like a five minute walk from my office here in downtown South Miami between Sunset and like 59th Avenue. So Sunset Drive and 59th Avenue. I have to walk right by here by Sunset Place, which is an old school mall that I actually saw when they opened it back in 1999. Over here we have, you know, Starbucks, we have a little, a few different boutiques. We have a CVS, and the restaurant is right here. And this is it, Charcoal Indian Cuisine. I love this place. I came with my father one time, we ate non-stop Indian food, but today we're having dosas for breakfast. Let's go inside. As soon as you walk into Charcoal Indian Cuisine, over here to the right, we have the dining hall. So you have all the tables, you know, separated by six feet. Over here to the left, you have a bar area. They have beers, they have Indian beers, they have Indian wine, really nice stuff. You know, some paintings, so we have the Taj Mahal. Over here we have a chili on fire. We also have a Buddha. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Buddhism started in Sarnath, which is right next to Varanasi. And yeah, that's the restaurant. I love this place. Let's go in the back. Let's see how they make some dosas. Raj, how you doing, bro? Hi. Ready to make some dosas? Excelente. samba. It's made with uh, dal. This is lentil sambar. So this dal? It goes with the dosa. Yeah, it goes with the dosa, obviously. So what dosa are you making for me today? Masala dosa and uh, plain dosa. And plain, plain dosa? Uh, as well as uh, for... Uh, bon dosa. And do we also have coconut chutney or any? Uh, no, dosa comes with, comes with uh, coconut chutney and tomato chutney and sambar. If you guys have never eaten dosas in South India before, always comes with coconut chutney, tomato chutney, Sometimes they add mint chutney, like, you know, a few other different chutneys, but personally my favorite is coconut and tamarind, but we're gonna do tomato, we're gonna do coconut, and we're gonna have some sambar on the side, always. portions of the tomato chutney and the coconut chutney. Coconut chutney, can't get enough of it. Hey, we need some more coconut chutney, that's too little. This is sambar. And this is their sambar. So they're using yellow dal, yellow lentils. So it's a little different. Usually sambar, what I've seen is tomato based, right? But this yeah. one's yellow.
what he just made was the masala dosa. Basically just how you make every dosa. Put the dough, shape it, then pull it off, and it's plain with the masala on the side. Dal, tomato chutney, and coconut chutney. And now he's gonna make another dosa for me. Let's see what he's making. This is called the cone dosa. Amazing, I've actually had this before in New York and also in South India. They're the best. So it's the same, but just in a cone shape. So kids love it. They break it off, put it in. That's it, my man. Two dosa, I think I need more coconut chutney. That's too little for me. <laughs> my friend here is too much. Besides these two dosas, he's gonna make me a third dosa. The Mysore Masala Dosa. Mysore is another city. I think it's near Bangalore, right? Mysore. Yes, can't wait. I've never been to that city. But I've tried this dosa before and I love it. So different, unique. He's mixing the spices right now. Can't wait for these dosas. Mysore masala dosa is spicy dosa. Yeah. It's like a red paste. Yeah. Really chili, nice. Chili and chana dal and roasted rice. So chili, lots of chilies here. Yeah, chili. Can't wait, dude. This is the best. And here we go, my friends. We got three dosas: plain dosa, cone dosa, Mysore masala dosa. To be honest, this is the one I want to start off with because I love it. It's spicy. It's different. You know, they put the the chilies and the curry paste inside as they cook the dosa. And if you guys don't know what a dosa is, obviously it is a crepe, Indian style crepe. I mean, the way, the way they make it, it's usually like this, you know, really crispy. Uh, inside, sometimes doughy, sometimes super crispy, when it really depends, right? And you have this one, sometimes they make it like ghee roast, where they add the yeah. ghee on top you as well. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm good with ghee, dude, too much ghee. I don't want ghee. <laughs> All right, so I jump with this one, right? And this is it, right? So you just grab it like that. Usually you use one hand to break it, but today I'm just gonna do it like this, right? So fold it. For the Mysore Masala Dosa, you just eat it straight. Mm-hmm, mm, spicy. Mm. No, it's good. So add this on top, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm, that sandbar is phenomenal. Oh. Spicy. This is a super spicy dosa. Whoa, killing me, my friend. <laughs> Woo, I think I'm gonna need, mm. Some coconut, right? Have some coconut on top. Oh, it goes so good with everything. Mmm. I told him to bring me more coconut chutney because I love it so much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm eating alone today, so I can eat this whole thing myself. Wow, spicy dosa. Love it though. This Mysore Masala dosa is, yeah, from Uta Brothers. Andhra Brothers, Andhra Brothers. Mm -hmm. So as I said before, Mysore Masala Dosa comes from the city of Mysore, that's in Karnataka. It's south of Bangalore. And I mean, the way they made it is like a, you know, a little square rectangle. You do this. Oh, I'm still getting chilies. Mmm. Dip it. Mm-hmm. Spice. Crispy. Mmm. Oh yeah. This is so good. For me, coconut chutney is South India. If you eat doses without coconut chutney, you're missing out. So you can put it in there, but you also put it in the sandbar, right? Mmm. It's a little different. Woo! It's spicy. Mmm. Spicy hot. When you fold, you get so many layers. Mmm. This morning, I'm eating all the doses. My favorite. And right now, I'm gonna jump on the regular one, right? So, as I said before, in the inside, it's like crispy. It's doughy. Here, it's crunchy, see, it just breaks. 
So what I do is I usually just get a piece like this, you know? Remember, use one hand, right I'm using two, and you just dip it. Sandbar. Mm -hmm. Basically the same as the other one, just no spices. Mm. It's gonna be a long day. Eating Indian food for 24 hours straight. Love it. Oh, thank God. Tomato chutney is so good. Mmm. Not spicy. Lots of bursts of tomato. A little tangy. I feel like if you just eat it plain, it's boring. You have to always mix. Mm hmm. Now I'm gonna jump on this one. Cone dosa. Look at that. So let's go in the inside because the inside is more doughy. And for this one, I'm gonna grab some of these potatoes. So, like pata ma masala potatoes or alu masala. Let's get a bunch of potatoes like that. So, you make it almost like into a sandwich with the potatoes inside. And you can also get some of the coconut, just throw it in there. So good. Mmm. You just drop it there. Grab a ton. Just like that. You can either eat it just like this or you get some of the tomato. Drop it on top. Yeah, just like that. Mm hmm This is so good, my friend. Oh, I can keep going. I love the crispiness, too. Like these, you just fold them up, make tons of layers, just super crunchy. Just dip. Mm-hmm. What a massive breakfast. Mm. Look at this. So, a little different from, you know, the American pancake. You know, I've discussed this before many times, but people don't get it. It's like, it's just the way they do it, and they also use lentil uh, batter, right? Rice flour and what is that? Lentil batter. Lentil batter, yeah. What is that? Rice flour. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's different from just using flour. And this, again, another like taco. Potatoes, you got uh, coconut chutney. Mm-hmm. I'll say the masala dosa, the Mysore masala dosa, my favorite. These two are great, you know, but they're, they're the, like the original one, right? So the plain dosa. So the best thing to do with these is just mix them with the chutneys, get some potatoes, get some sambar as you want. Uh, I like this, the spicy, the Mysore with the coconut chutney. That's the best. Always drink some water. Especially if you get some of the chilies from here. You're probably gonna need some lassi, right? No, I'm good right now, man, man. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. I, it's spicy, but I can keep going a little more. I just love the coconut chutney. Nothing like it, right? Look at that. Just like going through the dosa. Just make it like that. And you take a big bite. Mm-hmm. You know, I went to Kerala, the land of coconuts. Nothing like the coconut chutney there. This is similar. Obviously, they add a few different things, some different spices in there to make it a little different, but coconut. All the way. Wow. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a long day. Next I have a tally. Huh. Let's see how that goes. Okay guys. Well that was my southern Indian breakfast. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of it slowly and I'll see you in two minutes. Wow, that is it. That was breakfast. Oh man. Three doses for breakfast here in Miami. Charcoal in the cuisine. That is where you have to come. They open at 11.30, so you can get here at 11.30, have your brunch, dosa, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk back to my office, literally right here, make a right on sunset, walk all the way down to the 57th, make a left, and I'm in my office. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna work for a little bit, and then we're gonna head to Bombay Dabar in Corona Grove to have a tally. Exciting. All right, guys, so I'm back in the office. I got like a, say like two hours to kill before I have to go all the way to Bombay Dabar, but I have to change my shirt. So I'm gonna change really fast from Dosa to, I'm going to have a tally, so I have to wear my tally shirt. What do you guys think? Like it? All right guys, let's go eat. And because I don't have a car, I take Uber everywhere. I walk in my neighborhood and I take Uber everywhere in Miami. It's just way more affordable, especially because I don't need a car every day. All right, let's get an Uber.
Hey, ¿qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Bien, bien, And from my neighborhood of South Miami, you drive straight north on US 1 for 10 minutes and you get to the neighborhood of Coconut Grove, the oldest neighborhood in Miami, dating back to like the 1890s. And I can't wait. I love Bombay Dog Bar. It's so good. I've been going here for over a decade. I think it's the best or top three in terms of Indian cuisine in Miami. You have to go to Bombay Dog Bar when you're in Miami. ¿Está bien aquí? Sí, está bien. Gracias, amigo. No, gracias a ustedes, Muy Victor. amable. All right, here we go. Bombay Dog Bar. This place is amazing. Oh, the Indian food here. Top notch. So my friend, you good? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, good, good. Ready to rock nice and roll. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. When you walk in far to the right, over here to the left, we have the dining area. Super chic. Let's go to the kitchen. Let's go. Okay, so their tally usually comes with one entree, right? Yeah, it comes with one entree, one bread, one type of bread, any bread that you want. Then one rice, there will be one dessert, one soup. So that's a tally, but yeah, you guys yes. are giving me a special one. It's like basically two tallies with yes, multiple so, entrees. Yes, of course. So we're gonna have butter chicken so, with mushroom. We're gonna have only mushroom makhni. We'll have chana masala, that's okay. garbanzo. We'll have a lamb entree that's called lamb pasanda. And we'll have butter chicken as well. Yeah. So butter chicken also. Yeah. So this looks like butter chicken. So similar, but just with mushrooms. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's just that's just for the vegetarian people. Oh man, it looks amazing. The smell is coming out. So same same tomato paste, right? Yeah. It's same same gravy, but only with like mushrooms. You got honey. Yeah. No butter. <laughs> this charcoal grilled chicken. It's called tandoori chicken, and then we. So that chicken came from the tandoor oven. Yeah. So it's. And then we cut it in pieces. So it's boneless. Yeah. And you put it in there. This is what we call thali, and everything goes in there. Like we got the chutneys for appetizer, appetizer samosas. Dal soup, the lentil ones, rices, some makhni here, lamb pasanda, here. That's the Indian rice pudding. And the garlic naan, on one of them. I have two tallies for lunch. Mushroom makhni and lamb pasanda. Rock and roll, let's yeah. do it. All right, my friends, because of COVID, they also have this beautiful outdoor terrace literally on the sidewalk. So it's like it took off this area of the street where they had car parking and then made it beautiful, right? So you can come here, relax, have lunch, or you can go inside. Obviously they have all the tables separated. So six feet apart, all tables. A little windy today. It's a little chilly here from Miami standards. And here we go, two tallies for lunch. Two tallies for David only. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mushroom makhni. And, mushroom the mushroom mushroom mushroom. and then we also, obviously this is tamarind chutney, right? Yeah. My friend. And the to be had with the samosa. With the samosas? You must be knowing it very well. Yeah, yeah, and then this is dessert, obviously. So what's the name of the dessert again? Kheer. Kheer, kheer yeah. Kheer. I've yeah. tried kheer many times. <laughs> I have to remember. Awesome, thank you so much. And the two extra that we made for you is coming out soon. Oh, two extras? Okay. You're too much, bro. You're too much. Thank you. Guys, I am so, so pumped for this. This is amazing. I love tallies. It's one of my favorite things to eat in India. You just get to sample so many different things. Obviously here you have one entree, but they gave me a second one and they're bringing the third and fourth entrees. We're gonna try it right now, this mushroom makhni. Mushroom makhni, look at this. It looks like butter chicken. Very similar, right? But obviously instead of chicken, they have mushrooms. Oh, the smell. That was gonna be amazing. Mm. Oh man, if this is vegetarian food, all day long. Super creamy, man. Mm, this is delicious. Thank you. This is like Indians like veg because it's so good. 
mm -hmm. tandoori chicken which we made in the clay oven that's the butter chicken and the chana masala all the best sellers of uh, Bombay Darbar, this is the mango lassi for you. All right guys, so I have two different naans. I have the garlic naan and the plain naan. I personally like garlic naan more, it just has more flavor. And then what you do is you just put this on top. Like that. Make it almost like a Indian sandwich, right? So, veg style. And here we go guys. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm. It's tomato curry, gravy, so this is mmm. Nothing like pairing the bread with the gravy. Take like that. Mmm. That's the best part about any cuisine. Mmm. Wow. Just drop it on top. So good. I'm in love with this man. And the best thing is just give me a pot of that sauce, I'll just drink it. <laughs> <laughs> so what to next? Maybe jump on samosa? So dip the samosa into this delicious tamarind chutney. So if you guys don't know about the chutneys in India, so many different ones. My favorite is the tamarind and the coconut, but then you also have mint, you have so many different flavors. Mm-hmm. Mm. Nice contrast because the samosa has aloo, so it has potatoes inside. Crunchy, obviously deep fried. You just gotta dip some of that. Mm. I mean, pour it on top, right? Mm. Oh, I can do this all day. Like, it's so sweet. Wow. Tamarind chutney, the best. Mmm. Well, I usually have like, let's say at least one samosa every day. Because everywhere it's different. They have different ingredients, you know, obviously aloo for vegetarians, but then they also have, you know, chicken, other things. They just change it up, right? Beef is almost, you know, extremely rare, but you can find that in Kerala and also in Northeast. And what I'm going to do, well, I guess I have to try a little bit of dal. This is the one that you always have in every meal. Yeah, so this is a soup version, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually a very nice powder cleanser. So between the samosa, have a little bit of this, then you jump on. The mushroom acne. Mmm. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I'm, uh, I'm gonna limit this because I still have uh, so many more entrees. I'm just gonna pour this, the chicken tandoor. So what I like is just grabbing that, right? The bone. And this one you just dive in. Oh my god. Mmm. So cilantro, we got garlic. Mm, I love how the chicken falls apart. Obviously in the tandoor, just the way the oven cooks it. It's just mushy, it's smoky. Delicious. Mmm. Love the garlic. Mmm. Mmm. Potent. You want me to prepare a couple more dishes for you? I'm good, man. I'm good. <laughs> this guy just wants to feed me today. <laughs> and this is lamb pasadna. Pasadna. So, the way they do it, it's complicated, but it looks like another creamy, you know, almost like golden brown sauce, gravy, looks amazing. With a spoon, you're just trying it. Mm. It's light, it's not spicy. You know, do it just like how we love eating in India, right? Like that? Yeah. Mmm. Oh man. The gravies in India, they're so enjoyable. Yeah. It's the best part, man. The unity of this and this. Oh, like that. And then you make it to this yummy sandwich. Look that. How good is that? I'll say, there's nothing like eating Indian food, man. Nothing like it. Mm hmm Then again, this is a one portion, like one for one person, but obviously I have it for two here. Oh yeah. Mmm. Regular non bread, like just plain, delicious. Mmm. Yeah, it's like it's crispy, crunchy. One of my favorite 
dishes of all time, the butter chicken. You know, people love this. They rave about it. Number one selling dish in every Indian restaurant in the Western Hemisphere is butter chicken, but it's so good. It's creamy, it's delicious. Mmm. That tomato sauce. And if you guys don't know about butter chicken, I mean, obviously, 99% of them always come with tomato based sauce, but I've had it in Delhi where it's just straight butter Where they put like the chicken on the kebabs and they took them off and they mixed them in with straight butter. They drenched it Wow, that blew me away by the way. <laughs> this is phenomenal and you have to get obviously bread for this at least a little bit, right? Just dip bread, it. Bread is compulsory. All the curries. Yeah, yeah, you have to with every curry Mm-hmm Mmm -hmm. Yeah, that crunch. The crunch is so good. It's like, it's just dip. Wow. Incredible meal. Mm. Also, just drop it in there, right? Unite it right there. You never try that. <laughs> Me either. My first time. Mm hmm. Mm. It's like when you throw croutons into soup. The butter chicken tally costs $14.95. Comes with everything. Obviously just one entree, the butter chicken. Every day, Monday to Friday, you know, business, working days, from 12 to 3, you're gonna get this tally for roughly $15, $14.95, right? Yeah. I think what I'm missing is, mm. the chana masala, so chickpeas. Always good. You know, sometimes when I get hungry, I go to Whole Foods and I just get this. <laughs> just this. Mm. Now I think what we're missing is to mix the rice with some of the gravy, right? The way to do this is remove the main dishes, right? All the small plates. And then what we do is we just drop this guy like that. And then this guy right on top, like that. Yeah, you just gotta put all that gravy. And then, the best part, which you probably won't see that much in America, you gotta mix it. Very nice. All right? And then you gotta break up the chicken with your fingers. You know, they say the, the utensils takes away the flavor, takes away the taste. <laughs> they say the hands brings it back, though. More flavorful Look at this. Yes, yes. So break it up, right? Mix it well. You don't want to see the grains being white. They have to mix, right? Like that. It's like, yes. Mm hmm. Oh, you learned it, Yeah, man. I learned. So you got, you know, three fingers on the bottom. Some people do the whole hand. You know, they go like this, do the whole hand. I don't like to get the whole palm dirty. It's just the, the three fingers, right? Mmm. Yeah. Wow. And this one isn't spicy. Nice. If you want on top of that, we put garbanzo on it and having the garbanzo will be much Oh yeah? So my friend just told me to grab some of the garbanzos, put them on top. I'll just mix a little bit, right? Yeah, that's a whole different flavor there. Different masalas, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, so good. And if you want to be wild and you want to make it, like, sweet, <laughs> A little bit of tamarind. Yeah. yeah. Sweet and tangy. Mm hmm. There's no other way to eat, man. I, I love it. When I was in Kerala and I went to a place called Mother's Plaza, has Sadai. You eat like this and they just keep bringing you like all these different things and you just keep mixing and you gotta lick the whole the leaf, you know? Mmm. What a delicious meal. And you guys don't know about the differences between north and south. South, heavy on rice. North, heavy in bread. So when you go to India, if you want to eat rice, mostly south they'll always serve you rice, and the north they'll always serve you bread. Paratha, naan, roti. Amazing, dude. Thank you so much. You know a lot of things. I know it all. My last bite for lunch. Mmm. And in India, they always have like a little faucet to wash your hands after the meal, right? Here they don't have it, they obviously go to the bathroom. So, you know, 
clean my hands, then go clean them, come back, and then have amazing mango lassi with cherry on top. Mm. Oh man, that is good. If you guys don't know, mango is the fruit of India, and here in Miami, we have abundance of mangoes, so you can get mango lassi year round. Almost every single Indian restaurant makes mango lassi. I personally prefer it. I'm a huge mango lover. Mango lassi, lassi is like a yogurt drink. It's filling, but the point of it is to calm down the heat. Because usually in India you'll be eating and you have so many spices, it gets so hot in there. You you know you flush it all down with this, and you know you help yourself out, especially in the heat in India. Because in South India in winter it's super hot. In the summer it's boiling. Oh wow. And all this food is going home to my family. And I completely forgot about the rice pudding, Kier. Mmm, oh yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Mmm. So this is another good palate cleanser, right? Mmm, crunchy. Juicy. good after having curry, it cools you down. Mm-hmm, same thing with the lassi. Yeah, man, it just goes down so, super soft. In terms of uh, rice, the grains are super fine because you know here we have arroz con con leche, but that's usually like thick, like the rice is like that, you know. Yeah, our here is like. Uh, it's smaller. It's, uh, and it's uh, thinner too. It's not too much rice. It's you know sufficient amount mm -hmm. of rice with the milk. Mm hmm. All right. That and this, all the calories of the day. <laughs> <laughs> You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. This lunch has been phenomenal. Have you ever eaten dosa for breakfast, tali for lunch, and then take out for dinner? We have everything here, what David couldn't finish. It was a challenge for David. Peace, bro, peace. I'll give my English. What's up? <laughs> hey, Rupesh, right, thank you thank so you. much. Thank you, bro. You awesome. Again, David. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Hey, buddy. Going in. Going, going, Good one. Wow, Bombay Darbar, they overdid it. They gave me way too much food. I mean, delicious freaking food. So good. I think for me, that mushroom makhni, I mean, that was the, the ultimate. Just because I love mushrooms. I love that tomato-based sauce they use for the butter chicken. So good. The lamb as well. And obviously the naans. I mean, just everything is so perfect. 15 bucks for lunch. Go have a tally at Bombay Darbar. Now I'm going back to my office. I'm passing through the Grove. Going back to South Miami, I'm gonna go to the office, relax for a few hours, then pick up some food at Bollywood Masala and eat with my dad. Can't wait, but I need some time to digest. Oh, it's a lot of food. Limited, limited. I'm gonna give this to somebody. Tu lo quieres? No, no, no. Es para mi esposa. My wife wants it. <laughs> no, no, no quieres comer indio. <laughs> All right, so we're here back in South Miami. Aquí estamos. Listo, amigo. Hey, gracias, gracias. Gracias, amigo. Cuidado. Gracias, gracias. Back in South Miami. Let's go. Let's go. Time to work and then eat some more. Wow, guys. I am back in my office. Got about four hours to kill. And you know what? Because we're changing it up all day long. This is the Tally God. And now? And this is the Puri God. Yes, love it. Hold on, who's this? Don't know. Don't care. All right, got about four hours to kill before I have to go to Bollywood Masala and get myself some delicious Mumbai food. I gotta relax, gotta digest. I'm gonna work a little bit and then go get the food. See you soon. All right, my friends, it is time to go get some dinner. Bollywood Masala, here we come. It's only like a five minute walk from here. It's actually between here, like in the middle between here and my home, my home. Sorry guys, it's been a long day, I'm tired. Here we go, it's a little chilly in Miami. This is my neighborhood, South Miami, the best. Yo, yo, yo! Oh. 2021! Where's the boss? Where's the boss? He's not here! Chocolate mousse and mango mousse. Chocolate mousse and mango mousse? Indian twins. I got lamb vindalu. Chicken tikka masala, you want to rice? Oh, chicken tikka masala? Okay, no, no, I got it. And then also garlic, garlic naan, naan and, and rice. Garlic naan. Tandoori rice. garlic naan. For you as well. One chocolate, my mango mousse for you as well. Perfect, dude. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. I love your mask. Exactly. Mine is just branded, it's just me. No, it's <laughs> kombucha. It's kombucha. kombucha. Oh my God. So I got 
the lamb, the chicken, naan, what else, rice, two different desserts. And I'm walking right here, literally two blocks away is my house. Let's jump in the car and let's go straight to see my dad. Let's go eat. This is my neighborhood of South Miami. We have a downtown area, which is where I work. Then literally where Bobby Masala is, is the end of the downtown area. And you get into the suburbs, you know, all houses, all houses. And here's my parents' house. All right, my friends, I'm back with my dad. Yes, I've been eating Indian food all day, but I've been alone with no one to share with. So I decided, you know, bring food to my dad. We have some chicken tikka masala. We have some rice. Amazing. And then we have uh, lamb vi vidulu? vidulu. I think I'm saying it wrong, vidulu. And uh, we have some garlic naan, and then we obviously have the desserts for later mm -hmm. if we want to indulge. I mean, I've been eating all day between the dosas, the tally, and this. I am stuffed. But I imagine. Well, I'll eat your, I'll eat your part. No okay, problem. so which no one do you want? What do you want first? I don't know. I guess we'll serve a little bit of rice, no? Yeah. And then uh, we put the one on top. You serve yourself. Here. So we're going to have some basmati rice. We're going to serve ourselves some of the lamb, some of the chicken, pair it with some amazing naan bread. As you can see, it's like twilight hour. It's a little chilly. It's a, Birds it's are out. chilly. How do you want to start? I don't know. You 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 guide me. You're the expert on these. Well, what I usually do is I get a piece okay. of bread and then, and then I'll then go in. And grab it. Yeah, but you have to get a chunk. Like you have to get actually like a piece this. of flesh. Hey, look at that. Just like that, Papi. Cheers. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mm. This was lamb, right? Mhm. Mm I like the gravy. Mm. It's more of a dark, rich gravy. I like Indian food so much, you know. Mm hmm I mean, the thing is, with the sauces, it just changes your world, right? Every dish is different. Obviously, you're gonna have like six lamb dishes, eight chicken dishes, but always a little different. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they add coconut. Sometimes they add super hot chilies, ghost peppers. I mean, they always change it up, right? Mm, it was good. The lamb is phenomenal, Dad. I know. Wow. It's a little spicy for me, but good. Tab it. Mm. Yep. Again, get a piece of bread. Okay. Right. And then just go in and grab, grab a piece a of chicken. And this one, you can see there's like a chili on it. Just like that. Mira eso. Well, mine's like too much. Mm, that's good. You can eat it. Mmm. Oh. Too little hot. But it's so good. Mm hmm. I love the food here at Bali with Masala. It's so homey. It's like the perfect thing to take out, especially if we live right here. So we just, we don't want to cook one night. It's like, hey, you know, let's get Bali with Masala. You know what's interesting? That it's a spice. It's like a painful spice. But yeah, you like it. It's like, you know, it's a little spicy, like on the edge. Mm -hmm. And it's like, Ugh. but then you love it. You know what? I'm going to do the rest of my meal the Indian way, Bobby. Just going to get some rice and I'm going to go in with my hands. See, so today when I was eating the tali, mm -hmm. at the end, I decided to do this, you know. Oh my God. The way the Indians do it. I'm supposed to mix it all, capture all those flavors. And put it on your hand just like that. Different technique, huh? I'm not sure I can do that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'll do it the traditional way. I'll just get a little bite and put it here. Mm. You don't know what you're missing. I imagine. The experience? Mm. I'm mixing these two sauces. Fantastic. I'm not gonna lick my fingers, I'm not gonna be that wild, but you know. It's a it's a nice way to eat, especially in the south of India, where they give you like a banana leaf mm -hmm. and they put everything on top just like that. And you just grab it, you know. It's interesting. The banana leaf is organic, oh, it's and so you good. throw it away, and that's it. That's it. You know, no plates to wash. Mm -hmm. mm. So I love this lamb. It's a little different. It actually reminds me of Chinese dishes, just the color, mm -hmm. right? It's deeper. Deeper. It's like richer, and then. You have these nice big chunks of potato. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure they're potatoes, yeah. right? Looks like a sweet potato, mm. actually. Right? Nice. Mm. Good call with that, Tina. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm, guys. The day has been phenomenal. I ate Indian food all day. 
So you can consider it 24 hours because I'm not eating tomorrow until the time I started eating today, right? So and, you're doing um, the uh, fasting, right, after this? Yeah, so I'll fast after this. But So yeah, 24 hours eating Indian food here in Miami. Start off a charcoal Indian cuisine here in South Miami. Had some delicious dosas. After that, went to go in a grove. I went to Bombay Dabar and I had delicious tally. They actually gave me double tally, like almost like a four portion. It's for two people, plus they gave me two more entrees. Really delicious. And then we finished it off right here in my neighborhood hotspot. It's a Bollywood masala, you know, Homey food, straight from Tina's home, basically. I mean, she makes it with love, mm -hmm. delicious food, machina dosas, Nutali, and whatever here is here. <laughs> mm, it's too much sausage, I man. can see you can really enjoy it, huh? The cream, I mean, it's the so creamy, enjoyable. they call it. So creamy, so delicious. I'm gonna have a little chicken. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab it. Can mm. you grab it? Good, I'm just gonna have a little bit piece. So yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, eating Indian food for 24 hours. If you've ever done it, please leave me a comment below and what was your experience, where was it? Um, especially if it wasn't in India, where did you eat that much Indian food? You know, here in the States, some cities have a lot, some cities have very little. For the population we have here in Miami, it's not that many. There's probably a dozen, mm -hmm. 20 max, in Tampa it's like 50. Right really? Yeah, yeah, a lot. So yeah guys, so if you enjoyed the video, thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to the channel for more awesome food travel content. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this one. <laughs> Probably not eating Indian food for a few days because I think so. I'm gonna fast tomorrow. Oh, look at that, look at that. It's really good, David. Maybe I haven't had it in a while. Mmm.